Hello everyone and welcome to another Cooking with Linux. This is me, Marcel. Marcel Gagne, in fact. Anyway, it seems like every once in a while I'm doing yet another video on Minecraft, not specifically playing Minecraft games, although I've done that with my son from time to time, but specifically when it comes to uh, doing Minecraft like on a PC. As you can probably tell, taking a look at this, this is my Linux desktop. You've seen this one before, uh, except you know for the fact that at the moment I've got this cool looking desktop with all these different little cubes there. And uh, let me turn off the camera because it's, it's, dis it's distracting me. Hold on here. All right, I'm back. Anyway, so so I've got my little desktop here. I've got you know Minecraft cubes in honor of the uh, what we're doing today. And uh, what you're looking at here, believe it or not, is my Android tablet. I'm actually connecting to my Android tablet uh, directly. I'll just say create new for fun here. Oh, I can't do that with a mouse. <laughs> uh, I'll say create new world, and uh, I'll create. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'll call it. Um, I'll call it. Uh, let's see. Let's call it cooking. My world is called Cooking, and uh, it's called With, and um, Linux. Uh, by the way, what I'm using at the moment, this is actually VNC software. And uh, I'm going to make it a survival, but I'm going to make difficulty uh, easy. Easy peasy. There we go. And uh, I'm going to say that uh, world type infinite, blah, blah, blah. Um, let me see. Uh, six chunks, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this all looks this all looks good. Okay, create. This is the world we're creating. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, the internet language is actually English in reverse. Well, isn't that interesting? But that's not what we're talking about here. So what I'm using at the moment, in case you're trying to figure it out, if you see that little tiny A sitting up at the top here, let me move the mouse so you can see my little red mouse cursor there. See that? See that uh, where there's little A up at the top? I'm using a little piece of software called uh, Alpha VNC. Um, on my Android tablet and um, I'm connecting to it using a KDE application called KRDC. So this is actually KRDC, which is a remote desktop viewing application, which I'm using to connect to my Android tablet, which is running uh, Alpha VNC. And of course, if you know, if I wanted to here, uh, we can uh, you know look around, and uh, you know I can move around on my map and so forth. So this is all very very cool. And okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about running a Minecraft pocket edition server on your Linux desktop. And I've covered this topic with a couple of different servers in the past, but this is a moving target. Uh, once I've covered, oh, there's, there's, there's something off in the distance. Once I've covered a particular uh, server, something goes wrong and it's no longer available. So uh, we're going to do this all now, over again. One of my again, favorite okay? servers is uh, Nuket, and this is a Minecraft Pocket Edition server. That's if you're, running, uh, if you're running Minecraft either on an Android tablet or on an iOS device or something like that, this is the one that you're going to want, okay? Uh, the PC Edition is something entirely different. So this is Pocket Edition only, okay? And the place that you're going to want to go is nukitx.com. This is the official website for this particular server. Now, there's been different addresses in the past. The project's been forked or it's gone to different servers. But this is where you want to be today. And if you want to download the latest version, I'm going to send you over to GitHub, okay? If you go to GitHub and you go over here where it says Nukit, okay? There are different repositories here. But we're interested in the Nukit server specifically. Scroll down here. You're going to have all sorts of lovely information about the server and uh, what you're going to want to do is go right down here where it says get new kit and plugins okay click download and download boom, 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 is going to take you to jenkins and the latest successful build and you're going to click here where it says new kit 1.0 snapshot and you can see it downloading here 28 yes i do want to keep it yes you know jar files can harm your system by the way it's not going to harm your system you're cool okay all right so let's jump in here and uh, we're going to copy that file from uh, downloads because it just went to download NuKit and I'm going to copy it over here or actually I could move it over but uh, and then we're going to type this okay first of all you're going to have to have some kind of a Java runtime on your system or JDK on your system and the one that I've got is the open JDK it's not the it's not the um, it's not the official uh, Java I was about to say Sun Java but it's Oracle Java not Sun uh, <clears throat> excuse me um, let me take a sip of coffee here a sip of coffee 
I know you're disappointed. You think I should have been drinking wine. Anyway, if you type Java-version here, um, you should have a fairly recent version. And the one that I'm running is 9.01. And in case you're curious about what I'm running on a desktop here, uh, we could just minimize this for a second and you can take a look. See, I'm running Ubuntu 18.04 LTS Bionic Beaver. So this is actually still beta stuff. The official version doesn't come out until April, and we are at the beginning of March at the moment as I do this. Okay, so Java, Dash, Jar, Nukit. Believe it or not, that's it. That's all we have to do. And uh, we've got some errors here, but don't worry about that right now. ENG, because it's English, I'm, I'm going for the latest development here. It's distributed under LGPL, blah, blah, blah. Please consider reporting this to uh, developers because there's some Java error, but that may have something to do with the fact that I'm running the Open JDK or even a very recent or very late open version of the Open JDK. Okay, so the server is actually up and running. And in fact, let's go over to my, um, my VNC server here. Let me go back to my tablet. And um, there is a couple of things that I want to show you before we do that. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up up here and I'm gonna say new tab and uh, we're gonna type ifconfig, okay? And uh, we're gonna go all the way down here and take a look at our wireless interface, WLP3S0. I happen to know it's my, that's my wireless. And uh, there is the IP address, okay? Keep that in mind, 192.168.1.118 because we're going to use that in just a moment. Let's go back over to the Java server here here. I'm going to make sure that my alpha VNC server is actually up and running. All right, so now I'm back to my Android desktop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Minecraft again. There we go, Minecraft coming up and remember I'm using a VNC server on my tablet to connect to my tablet. And uh, now we're going to say play. And uh, there's the world that we created a few minutes ago, the one called Cooking with Linux. This is not what we're looking for, okay? This is not what we're looking for. We're going to go over to where it says um, where it says servers here, okay? And uh, there are some servers here, featured servers. These are the ones, uh, some of the ones that uh, we could be connecting to, but that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go add server. Please enter the server name. And the server name in this case, so we're gonna call it uh, Marcel's, whoops, helps if I can spell my own name. Uh, Marcel's Linux desktop and uh, desk. Stop. Marcel's Linux. To, oops. I guess it's going to have to be Marcel's Linux because I can't write that many letters in here apparently. All right. Server IP address. All right. We're going to go to 192.168.1. Do you remember what the IP address was? Because I don't. Isn't that awful? 118. Okay. So there we go. So 118. 118 is the address of my server. And we are using the default. And I'm going to say save. Okay, and there it is, Marcel's new kit server for Minecraft PE. There it is, I'm gonna say connect to external server. This is the one that is currently running. And locating server, locating server. And there we go, and it is nighttime on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join, I'm gonna go right over to here and I'm gonna type time one. No, oh, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. What am I being attacked by? This is terrible. I'm being attacked by something here. And of course, it's nighttime. Oh, I, I, I died. I died. You know what? I'm going <laughs> before I hit before I hit respawn completely here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, say main menu. So we're going to get out of here for a second. I'm going to say yes, quit to the main menu, and I'm going to keep this open for a second, okay? And I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to say stop on the server. So I'm going to stop the server completely. There we go. The server has stopped. All right. And as you can tell, I was being attacked. I was being killed by something. It was just awful. So I'm going to show you what happened when we started this. Okay. You might have remembered that there was only one file in here. I only copied one file in here. And that one file was the Nukit-1.0 snapshot jar file. Okay. That one down here. Let me just uh, highlight that so you can see. This is the only one that I copied over. Okay. That was the only... And now we've got all these other things here. OPS.txt, recipes.json, blah, blah, blah. All these things. Um, with Without going into a huge amount of detail on all these things, I'm going to go in server.properties. Do you, do you guys want me to use VI or do you want me to use something else? Do you want me to use something else? All right, I'll use something else. Why not? Kate, uh, which is a graphical editor. Do you want me to use VI? 
I'll, I'll use Kate just, just, just this one time, okay? All right, there we go. Now we've got a nice graphical uh, file. And if you take a look down here in this file, it's got a message of the day, nuke it for Minecraft PE. This is the message that you saw come up, okay, uh, on Marcel's server here. When it connected, it gave me the uh, server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. Oops, I'm going to go back to uh, Kate here server properties and I'm going to change that so that the the actual identification for this thing is not new kit but it's um uh cooking with linux server cooking server oh wait 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 I'm going to call it the kitchen the kitchen server there we go and uh, a sub MOTD powered by NuKit. We'll just leave that one there. And uh, you notice that uh, we got killed right away. That's because our game mode is survival. So I'm going to make our game mode creative so that I don't get killed. And um, the level that we created, the world that was created, the uh, level world, um, let's call it something entirely different. We'll call it uh, World 2. World 2. And uh, down here where it says level seed, we'll call it, uh, oh, we'll call it Francois, you know, my long suffering waiter here. And I'm gonna say file, and I'm gonna say save, okay? So I have saved the server property file. In fact, let me just uh, uh, cat server dot properties, properties, and uh, as you can see, there we go. We've got the, uh, uh, the kitchen server, and now the game mode over here is set to one, so I'm not going to get killed instantly when I go in, and uh, let's restart this thing, shall we? So Java dash jar, and yes, I know there are error messages, but things are a little bit different now. Info, the world two not found, so it's creating world two, as you can see, and now it has restarted. So let's go back into my Android tablet over here and uh, let's go say Marcel's Linux connecting to external server Locating server locating server. I'm gonna drink a sip of coffee while this is happening I may edit that out who knows we'll see Because you know it takes a second there we go generating world there we go Therotiki that's me that's me there we go There's my new world this is the Francois world oh it's so much nicer than the other one isn't it there we go, and uh, we've got ourselves a nice creative world in which we can go and start building things and, you know, do whatever we like. So there you go. That, that my friends, is how we set up a, uh, a Minecraft Pocket Edition server, um, which you can run from your home. And uh, everything else about the game works the way that it always does. I mean, uh, you know, we can... We can uh, go and mine things if we like, or of course, since this is a creative game, we can just go in and grab things. But um, here, let, let's mine. Let's mine a block here. There we go. There we go. Everything works as it always is supposed to. And all you need to do to do this is to run your own server. Now, if you want to run this remotely um, on something like, uh, I mean, I've used lots of different things, but you could use uh, Amazon. This is not, by the way, an endorsement of a remote uh, administration system, but uh, there is Linode.com if you want to run a cheap server um, over here in, you know, uh, and these are, these will be like Linux based servers and so forth, very inexpensively on a monthly basis. Or another one that I use uh, from here is OVH.com. OVH, OVH uh, is another one that I use on a regular basis. These are two that I use. Very inexpensive, cheap to run a server externally if you want to have something that your kids can connect to. Um, I personally do run one of these for my son and his friends. Um, and uh, this is how you do it, Minecraft Pocket Edition. And um, remember, this is Pocket Edition as opposed to the PC-based version of the server. And that is where I'm going to leave it for today. All right? So get out there. Make a server for your kids. It works. It's cool. It's easy. And uh, they'll love you for it. Or, you know, maybe they will. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and this is the end for today. If you like what I'm doing here, please go to my channel. That's youtube.com slash a free thinker at large. And see that button here, the one that says subscribe? Hit that subscribe button. Then after you've watched the videos and you, you know, presumably like it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, start a conversation, talk to me, talk to other people, and uh, let me know what you think of what's happening in here. Share with your friends, your neighbors, your family, your dog, your cat, your hamster. It doesn't really matter. And, and, 
fund, if you have it in you, if you're capable of doing this, if you're not, don't do it. But if you're capable of doing this, please go to my Patreon.com page. It's patreon.com slash Marcel Gagne. And I'll put all that in the uh, show notes as well. And, um, you know, consider uh, consider supporting me um, for, you know, what I'm doing here. And, uh, yeah, this is the part where I beg and, you know, I really actually kind of suck at it. So, you know, feel sorry for me. Okay. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like me to cover something else, let me know about that too. And uh, I will do that in a future edition of Cooking with Linux. And of course, I also do, if you probably, uh, if you follow me, you know that I do this. I also do uh, gaming videos as well. I do gaming videos of a variety of uh, Android typically android games although i do some pc games as well and if there's something you'd like me to play you know to show off let me do that too okay all right um but that's it for today remember subscribe share like all that stuff marcel out